counted seven crews here one day this week. When you get seven crews, you get stuff done. Now, when you look out front, things haven't really changed a whole lot in the last few weeks, but inside is something special. And in fact, Grandpa was even out today to take a look inside. It's only been five days since he was here, and he was amazed by how much got done. That is looking amazing. So here's our shop. Workbench is getting put in now. Like you get all this white in here and it actually looks like a real barn. Plumbing was the other crew that was here. And so like Dairy Lane's got, I mean, taps everywhere. The one thing that we're waiting on is there's several rooms that need epoxy. Epoxy is gonna need that like month between when concrete is poured to when they actually come. So. What's the count? Three more weeks, two and a half more weeks before epoxy gets done. So everything needs that, that gets done needs to be like up and above ground. So things up on shelves and things like that can get done. The big thing will be waiting on epoxy so that then anything that's on the ground can get put on the ground. Now it's definitely coming nice back here, but it's not graded perfectly. And that I think is going to be a challenge for us for a little while. Usually I would pile manure right here from the heifer pen and then we'd deal with it sometime on a nicer day. This is kind of my winter pile. We'd usually get it once it's dry, but we're never going to get this dry in time. The heifers need cleaned out. So right or wrong, we are going to spread manure today. Tyler's in the spreader with Reed and Hayden. It's maybe not perfect, but heifer's got to be comfortable, so we'll take a chance. is a much more comfortable pen of heifers. Now this is one of my favorite spots. All that barn board, from out front has come into here. And this is what our office is gonna look like. Like, stunned, it's, it's amazing. So this came off that old barn just took the letters off and because the letters were there, it was just faded different. And so now this is gonna make up the office. We'll have our desks all along here, be a fridge and a little counter over there. And this kind of makes up this area, but this is like, this is gonna be a nice room to work in and a nice room to have as an office. Now I did have some fantastic video. Well, I thought fantastic video of Boards going on and boards coming off the front board, front barn. But it would appear that 
one of two things have happened. Either I attached my GoPro to something that I forgot I did and can't remember where I put it and haven't found it yet, or the more likely scenario, I carry it around in my pocket. It fell out of my pocket in one of the days when some excavating was getting done. And it's lost forever. I'm a little worried it's that one. Already, Schooner Woods have done phenomenal. So we've got curbs, footings, I guess is the better word, for all the posts. Then Tyler and I actually put lagged those plates down. They showed us where to lag them. these posts are ready to go up and get welded on on Monday and that'll make the start of the stabling job and then we've got one two three four scrape alleys and the plan is to have four scrape alleys poured in three more days by no means the professional calf feeder here. Mom and Jess do that more. But tonight it happens to be my, my job. This is another one of the jobs that as we make some major changes over the summer will hopefully become easier. We always have to lug pails out. And that's with the milk replacer that we mix. And so you gotta lug all the milk, all the water, all the feed, all the straw, everything out here. Now, they're, it's a great environment for calves, don't get me wrong. Fresh air on calves like this is phenomenal. But we gotta manage the workload a little bit better, so in the calf barn when we get it done will be a nice way to do it. But in the meantime, it's a nice night. Let's get some calves fed. Okay. Put it in here. Ooh, you're excited. Kind of got you in the head. Sorry. I said I was going to celebrate when I didn't have to pump out here. Oh, man. Now, I think I might still, there's still a couple of low spots, so I'm not going to completely celebrate yet. A couple of big rains coming. We'll actually wait to celebrate when it's all kind of brought up to level, but we are really, really close because they got all this poured. And this is, it's, it's rigid here. I mean, it's going to be bedded with straw. So, you know, they're not going to have a real issue with being too slippery anyway. Um, but this just, after we clean it out, this will be able to give that little bit of extra grip because you do got to be careful that, you know, cows hooves can be slippery and we don't want them slipping 
anywhere. And then the other big job, and this is what made for the extra crew the other day, is the fact that we are getting a manure system together, which is amazing in itself. Um, basically, what had to happen is a concrete cutting crew had to come cut a square there, a circle there, a circle into the pit. Now, while we were there, while they were here, what we actually had them do was cut the last of the concrete out of what will be our drive-through door at the other end. we can get more stuff in Calvin's way. We seem to be trying. Can't tell now, but there is now a pipe underground. Shoots out, goes on a 45, and then curves out and into the pit. Actually, why don't we go over and take a look? Now, I actually don't know if that's supposed to stick out that far. We'll find out. I have no idea. But that is the pipe. That is what is underground and all the way back to the barn. So now, theoretically, I mean, still a little bit of work to do, obviously, but soon when the hydro gets in we flick that switch on then all of a sudden we'll actually be able to pump manure into this pit the other hole is a much smaller one it comes from this barn it was that one that we've got that black water sump basically the drains out of the robots drains out of the milk house drains out of everywhere else except for the manure scrape alleys, is gonna come through that pipe. And one of the ways it can come is directly from the sump out that line. Now I was really questioning the fact that when I was telling people about a week ago that we wanted to be in by the middle of June, eight weeks from then, I was thinking like, I don't know if that is even possible, but at least we can set a deadline. Well, all of a sudden you get everybody around here flying and you get that many crews and you get people working and the way things have gone the last five days gives me wild confidence for what we can get done in the next few weeks and it is only going to be a few short weeks a month and a half in fact and we're going to be moving in